Welcome back to uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. So, last time we did a first, we went, we, we did the ending, we did ending number 164, A New Empire's Beginning. And this is something I haven't talked about before. There are 300 and, I want to say, 56 uh, different endings. Something like that. 365, maybe, I don't know. Um, depending on which order you go in. I mean, they're the same endings, but they have different names. And we got A New Empire's Beginning, that's the neutral hero route. I'm gonna go with Neutral Dark now. We might actually do this in just one episode because we're gonna skip all the cutscenes now and they take up most, most of the time. So, let's do this. Skip. Back in Westopolis. We're gonna try and get an early uh, chaos control this time. I like how he says that, even though you haven't gotten a chance to pick sides yet. Like, oh, he's already going like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what this random alien guy says. I don't trust anyone, but apparently I trust this alien dude immediately. So basically, um, there are a few ways to get uh, bonuses, and one way is to use. A healing gun to heal GUN units, and I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we got that gun for clearing the neutral ending. We're gonna see. I'm just gonna kill everything right now. Shut up! No one's on my side, Sonic. Oh, well, maybe we can't do it. I thought there was a shadow box somewhere here. I guess not. I know you can get the chaos control before even. Uh, maybe it's a chaos blast you can get before even doing anything. If you if you destroy cards and stuff, like every every, every all human thing, I think even including these ones, yeah, count as doing evil stuff. So you get evil boost for that. Oh, uh, this game is ridiculous. I thought you could get chaos control as well, but because if you have the uh, basically one of the weapons you get in the uh, shadow boxes is a healing gun, and that lets you uh, infinitely damage and heal the GUN soldiers, and that gives you hero boost and bad guy boost, and with that you can basically just uh, get infinite supply of chaos control. But I guess not, huh? Unless it was up here, and I just missed it. <sighs> nope. That doesn't seem like it. Oh well. That's a shame. <laughs> I like that every GUN soldier is voiced by the same guy. No, Sonic, I'm doing what I want. Take that DLC. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to uh, get the chaos abilities until until you get that chaos control, which is why they have a limited amount of stuff there. But because of um, the ability to uh, manipulate how the meters work, you can technically get it early. I just didn't. I wasn't able to because I'm not good at this game. Okay, so I don't get hero points for using the chaos blast even if I destroy aliens. Okay, interesting. I didn't get points at all for it. That's surprising. I didn't know that. Well, now I do. But yeah, destroying these also give you hero powers. So we're gonna do that. Because the sooner we get a uh, chaos control, the faster we can speed to the level. I always wasted a lot of time now just because I was playing around with trying to get an early chaos ability, but... What we're going to do now, since we've already played this map, is just, we're just gonna try and get chaos control as fast as possible and then run away. I 
think this was the last Shadow game, I mean Sonic game, where Shadow's like abilities were yellow. Like his homing attack has a yellow trail and stuff like that. Like that, it, that, that was the case for Crusher 2 as well. And I think in Shadow the Hedgehog it was just like, either, it was either yellow or just black. I think they made it red in later games just to, you know, match his color scheme. I prefer the yellow one to be honest. I thought there was a checkpoint here, but I guess not. Maybe it's further down. There it is. So we got we gotta try out the um, cool little um, We gotta try the um, trick I mentioned with the infinite case control. I've never done it, so we're gonna see if it works. Okay, we got. We got get all the way back to the thing over here. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh fuck! Fuck! I didn't do it. Maybe it's only doable on the GameCube version. Maybe it's just really hard to do it. I don't know. I can both. Oh well, whatever. Actually, now I think about. It, I don't think I did get the healing gun from neutral thing. I think you get the uh, egg gun that sucks things up. So, I'm really just wasting time. Whee! That was terrible. I apologize for that run. Keep telling yourself that, Shad. I'm gonna call you Shad. It's not worth hitting the start button to skip things, because, you know, who cares? That's a good example of how little, little the GUN commander is in the game. Like, we saw him in that cutscene, then we never saw him again for the rest of a neutral path. So, Glyphic Canyon again. No, we're going to be playing every stage and every boss um, to get get to get the true ending. You can actually take like any path you want, technically, uh, and not play every stage and still get all the endings. But we we gotta play all the stages just to show off the, how frustrating some of them are. I guess some of them are really bad. Some of them had good ideas, but I guess poorly made. Unfortunately, you, you don't keep speed from spin dashing in this game, which is kind of sad because the actual spin dash speed is really fast. Um, so it's actually a useful thing now and then, but yeah, it's not as good as Sonic Adventure One. Sonic Adventure One still has the best spin dash. Sonic Generations probably has the second best one. That's only for 2D, so it's like, eh. I'm a 3D player. I like, I like seeing ahead of me. Not, I, 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 I don't like. I don't like side-scrolling perspectives for fast games because I feel I can't see what's going on. Here's the egg gun. It's ridiculous. You suck things up like this. Knuckles, you can punch through these, why aren't you? Okay, and there we go. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, I couldn't suck those up. Help, 
Okay, then in the lower right corner you can see actions, which is the only game in which you have like UI actions for a Sonic game like that, I think. Um, um, I want to recharge my egg gun. There we go. Yeah, the shadow weapons are ridiculous. They're overpowered. And you basically only... you can only, That's why you can only use them on New Game Plus, basically. Or rather, when you finish them, finished at least one ending. Um, because it's so ridiculous. It does? I'll take your word for it. Oh yeah, when you're in um, kids control in the middle of the air like that, you can't run out of it. So if you if you can't if you're like me and you can't do the whole uh, trick to get infinite. You can always just make sure to use it in front of like a huge gap, and you will sp you will save your time. I take orders from no one. That was a pretty good run, I think. I'm getting more used to the controls as well. Perfect. Yes, perfect. The egg gun is actually going to help us a lot by just being able to speed through these maps we're already done. Maps, levels, stages, zones, acts, whatever you want to call them. We won't be able to do that for the, the later later games though, because in, in, in the, in the uh, later stages when we don't just replay stuff, we're going to have to do missions. <laughs> Which means we're going to have to pay attention to what we're doing. Wee. So I guess when this goes up, I am about to head out to Nercon, the largest um, anime convention in uh, Sweden. So I don't know if I'll be able to record that much of this game before then. Um, so I know I've just gotten back from hiatus on videos, but there's going to be a short one again, I guess. Unless I'm able to record a lot more Shadow than I intended to. Which would be great, but I can't promise that. Okie dokie. So in the um, the reason that they, they changed from um, the original voice actors to uh, four kids, uh, there were two reasons for that. One was contracts ending, of course. Um, another one was that uh, Dean Bristow, who played Doctor Robotnik Eggman in Sonic Adventure One, Two, and Heroes, um, unfortunately died um, between Heroes in this game, and. Um, when they decided to um, go with new actors, they just replaced the entire cast instead of uh, renewing some of the contracts. Because it was just easier to, you know, bridge uh, media like that as well. Because I can't think. Oh, you're on. Because like it, it, it's just it's, it's easier to, um, you know, get ones you're, you've already hired anyway. You know. <laughs> um. But a lot of fans were upset, myself included, when they changed the, co the voice cast. I am not too fond of Jason Griffith. He, he got better. He was really good in Unleashed, which was of his last game, and then he changed again, so... Oops. But, um... Yeah. It was, uh, it was unfortunate. Um, I mean, um, the, new, the new Eggman voice actor is the only one of the four kids actors still on... Uh, on the team, and that's uh, Mike Pollock, and he's he did a great job, uh, both replicating 
Dean Briscoe's um, Robotnik, but also like bringing his own flair to it, you know? Like, I, I feel Mike Pollock did the job pretty much perfectly, and I think most people would agree with that. So a lot of Sonic 06's enemies, you can kind of see prototypes for in this game. Uh, on the previous previous stage, for example, you saw the, um, the worms coming out of the ground attacking you. And those are a real pain in the ass in 06. Still kind of not over the fact that Sonic 06 is turning 10 years old this year, like, wow. Like, I remember back when that game was... Nothing but um, uh, off-screen camera photos of behind the, behind the scenes stuff, like, and everyone was so excited for it. It was going to be the best game ever, and looked so promising. And oh wow, we were so wrong. Oh fuck! <laughs> Could have put that ring lower. I feel. I found it, the fourth emerald. Perfect. I'm sure you're noticing now that uh, time is the main factor in ranks in Shadow the Hedgehog. Probably because, you know, you don't lose all your rings in the head, so that would be ridiculous to make it based on rings. This game was never ported to PC, oddly enough. Um, Sonic Heroes was, but this game wasn't. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe because Sonic Heroes' port was kind of strange. Sky, staring at it from afar. Have I seen it before? Oh yeah, I don't know if I... I think I think I started saying this, but I never actually finished the statement. Uh, in, um, when they announced this game, it was... A bit different. Um, one change was that the um, the black uh, creatures, which uh, or black aliens, which bleed green in this game, they had a pink blood color to them originally, with like a red trail, um, and that was changed. And there were more rough curses, like uh, they didn't just say hell and damn. They said, I think they said. Um, Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Sonic said uh, pissed off instead of ticked off and stuff like that. Uh, and that was all changed because, um, well, partially because they need to re record the lines with the new voice cast. But um, when this game came out, it was aiming for a T rating. Uh, when, it, when it started development, it was a aiming for a T rating. Because, you know, it was going to be more mature and blah 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 and whatever. All that stuff. Oops, I just replaced my... Yeah, that's fine, actually. At least I can burst through that then. Uh, but then, uh, during development, the ESRB announced that they were introducing the uh, Everyone 10 Plus uh, rating, which they decided, well, let's go for that then. So they toned down some stuff, and green, green blood counts as toning down, which I will never understand that. Like, oh, well, if we made the blood a different color, then then it's less mature. Like, like there are... Okay, I mean, there are... That makes no sense, I mean, the, it's still blood. And like, there are... <laughs> there are creatures in the world that doesn't... That doesn't just go all red when you squeeze them, you know, like... I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. I mean, they're still aliens, still shooting them. And they changed the language, and um, uh, I think the only way to like uh, hear the um, well, actually, I don't know if you, I don't know if I really got to hear uh, Shadow say shit and uh, um, Sonic say pissed off instead of damn and ticked off. Uh, it was the E3 build in two thousand five. 
that was the one, but you never, there, there is no direct feed footage of that, but it, there was cam footage, and it was uh, subtitled. So, I remember seeing the subtitles, um, I don't know if I've ever heard it, if you actually could hear it in the videos, oh shit. I hate this jumpy thing. Damn, not here. Yeah, 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 damn, damn, damn. Oh, I wanted to, that. Wait, all the way back here? What the fuck? There were, there were other checkpoints. We missed them. Uh, God damn it! Away from me. Nope. God damn it! This is annoying. Yeah, why did Gun just leave something like this behind? It's military technology. <sighs> there we go. I think. So, yeah, this is a checkpoint right here. Where did we get that one? There we go. Must have missed that before then. He's gotta turn that off, he's annoying me. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if it's still on YouTube or where it was. Because it was before YouTube, of course. Like it, was, it was on like crappy other Flash players. I was been during the Sonic Cult days. Wow, I remember that. I remember that, and, and when uh, Sonic 06 was called Sonic uh, Next or Sonic Next Gen, because um, we didn't we didn't actually get that it was going to be called Sonic the Hedgehog. We just figured that was a temporary, you know. Yeah, yeah. Here's the new Sonic the Hedgehog game. <laughs> Man. Ah, oh, fuck, really? Uh, that's annoying. At least we have better air control now. Fun gameplay! Riveting gameplay! Ah... Uh. This weapon is kind of powerful, thankfully, so... You can zoom in the camera. That's useful for nothing. I don't know why they made these so slow. And now I can't rotate the camera anymore. What the fuck? I just lost... Okay, there we go. No, the other way. Around. There we go. Get on there! I don't know why they made like regular ledges are really hard, like this like things you can things you could run over in like Sonic Adventure One and Two is really hard to run over in uh, Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog and that includes stuff like the fucking rockets for some reason. Oops. Oh well. That's for a dark side story. That's for the dark side mission anyway. When do we get to the flying bit? I don't like the flying bit. God, the slowdown is so bad. Uh, the power. Please be the yes. This means we can't lose the case control. Oh shit! Oh well, that's fine. Why not? 
their boosters to leave as you get out of the cave. <sighs> I finally made it to the flagship. Just you wait, Doctor. I was worried we were gonna get a, get a death You're there. Not getting away from me this time, Doctor. 